Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add new Facebook page post via webhooks. So if you have any application where you have collected information to create a post in a Facebook page but you cannot find that trigger in Pabli Connect, so here is a feature by Pabli that is called webhook that can be used to integrate that application with Facebook. In this automation, our trigger will be the captured response from the webhook or that application and our action will be to create a post in the Facebook page. Let us learn how to do that. So let us create this integration where you can create post on your Facebook page using the webhook of any specific application. Right now what I am going to do is that connect the webhook of Pabli with this Google Sheet and as soon as a new content is added over here in Google Sheet, it will automatically be posted in Facebook page as a post. Let us quickly sign in into our automation software so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Here we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as add Facebook page post via webhook responses. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. We have trigger and action windows. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this which means that whichever is going to be your trigger application an event will take place over here and that event will make sure that the action application performs the assigned action over here. So the trigger for this workflow is going to be webhook because we do not have that specific application we are considering that situation but they use webhook as the source of integration. And our action is going to be Facebook. So let us choose trigger as webhook. So through this webhook, we are going to integrate Pabli Connect and Google Sheets. And anytime we are not using Google Sheets over here as an application, but this webhook is the application we are using. We will be connecting this webhook URL with Google Sheets so that everything that is updated over here in your sheet will be automatically available over here as a response. So what we will do is go to our Google Sheets, go to extensions, add-ons and get add-ons. When you go to get add-ons, you have to type in your search apps. We will reach Google Workspace Marketplace and type Pabli Connect Webhooks. It is already here and see this is the application that is required for you to connect the webhook. So install this. I already have it installed so I, it will be visible for me in the same menu. So you give, we go to Pabli Connect Webhooks, go to initial setup and when you reach there a dialog box will appear where you have to paste a webhook URL and the trigger column. So for that you have to copy this part and paste it right here. But when you click on submit and send test you have to have some detail over here that will be sent to your workflow as a response. So make sure you have entered. For example, I want to post a picture where I can say daily routine morning walk is my caption and the picture that I want to upload is here is the link for that picture. So this is the link of that picture and then now I will move on to the integration process where were we? We have to copy this webhook URL from here. It has started waiting for a response. We go to our webhook post that is our Google Sheet extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, initial setup and now we will enter this URL in the section given to us as a blank field. Here paste in the webhook URL section and the trigger column is the last updated column which means that whenever Google Sheet will send response to our Pabli Connect which is the last column to be covered which is B for our case. So we will put B over here, click on submit and it is configured successfully. Now send test. So the test will be sent as a response to Pabli Connect over here. Yeah. Test data sent successfully. Once this is done, you can go back to check that yes, we have received a response. This is the caption and this is the picture URL. Now we need to make sure that every time a new row is added or new information is added in new rows. So this data should be sent through the workflow. For that, you go again to Pabli Connect and click on send on events. You've done this, which means that whenever this event takes place, we will receive a response over here. Now, once this is done, you have to use this information to create a Facebook post. So our action application will be Facebook pages because we are going to create a Facebook page post. The action event will be create page post and connect your applications. So click on add new connection. Make sure you have opened your Facebook account over here. Click on connect with Facebook pages. You might have to drag this menu a little bit enlarged so that you can select the options given to you. You have to continue with your Michael Karas ID because this is the Facebook account I am using. 
once you do this and the authorization is successful you have to fill out fields which are generally required for you to create a post now first of all you have to select a page so when you go to a facebook and page you find in the left section these are all the pages created by me in my facebook account for example this is the event that i'm going to talk about so i'm going to use guest event over here this is the page i'm working on so i will be using it over here only yeah i'll type and choose my page so pably connect will make sure that this uploading of the post is going to take place in this page only what is the message message is the caption okay then we have the url so we will take the url of the picture and paste it right here in link url once you do this you just have to click on save and send test request because no other field is left to be filled and you will receive the id of the facebook post that will be created after this workflow yeah we have received an id and it shows no error which means our workflow has been a success to confirm this first we save this workflow over here and we go back to our facebook account and we will just refresh it once and you will see daily routine morning walk and we have a link over here when you click on the link you will be taken to the place where you can see the picture that you have just posted so this is the one we have over here this link will take you to that place which means that our workflow has been created and it will work whenever a new idea is added over here a new caption and picture link is added over here and then the action will be performed that facebook page post will be created so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you